Hello, I'm Dr. Farine Karachiwala, York Region's Associate Medical Officer of Health. And today I am asking for your help to slow the spread of COVID-19. York Region Public Health continues to work extremely hard to slow the spread of infection. Some of the tools we've been using include physical distancing, proper hand hygiene, mandatory masks in indoor public spaces, and supporting workplaces, institutions, and schools in safe infection prevention and control practices. An additional and extremely powerful tool that you may have heard less about is contact tracing. Contact tracing helps identify and isolate the close contacts or ring of people around an infected case, which in turn stops these people from passing on the virus to others around them. It's a very effective tool to stop the chain of transmission, and it involves defining the ring of people around an infected case based on the various factors that make COVID-19 easier or more difficult to spread. With rising case counts and increased lab turnaround times, to ensure the most timely response, we want to share a few principles of contact tracing with you so you can be in charge of supporting this process and notifying your close contacts or ring around you as soon as possible. Contact tracing is a cornerstone of this response, and it has gone a long way to curb the spread, both in Canada and around the world. Close contacts are the ring of people around you that need to be quickly isolated. These are people who have had a high-risk exposure to you as a case while you were able to transmit the disease. So in general, things that make an encounter you had with someone higher risk is the duration of time spent with them, if you as the case had symptoms during that encounter, if you were within two meters of them, if you were not practicing good hand hygiene, if you were speaking loudly or singing while in their proximity, or if you had direct physical contact with them, as examples. Close contacts are therefore defined as people you live with, have had intimate relationships with, anyone that would have come into direct contact with your bodily fluids, so if you coughed or sneezed on them unknowingly, People who have cared for you or that you have cared for, so for example, assisted with bathing, feeding, or dressing, or people that you have visited with, spent time with in the community, at school, work, or who have come into your home for more than 10 minutes and been within two meters of you for that time. A close contact could also be someone that you spent a prolonged period of time with in a much smaller, poorly ventilated, enclosed space, even while physically distancing. So, for example, in a less ventilated and small meeting room for a couple of hour meeting, for example. Or could be someone that you had close and perhaps regular physical interactions with, even if it was for 10 minutes or less. A close contact is not someone who that you very briefly passed by in the community or who was in the same space as you or someone that you consistently maintain two meter physical distance with in a large area or outdoor environment. If you have been told by a healthcare provider that you have tested positive for COVID-19 or are likely to have it because you are sick and linked in some way to a confirmed case, an outbreak, or have traveled internationally to a place with high spread, there are actions that you can immediately take to help prevent the spread. So these include contact everyone you have been in close contact with from the two days before your symptoms started until when you started self-isolating. If you do not have symptoms, then you should contact everyone from within the two days prior to the date you went for testing till when you started self-isolating. Tell anyone you identify as a close contact to self-isolate for 14 days from their last interaction with you. This means for them to stay home, do not go out into the community or to work for 14 days. If there is anyone in your ring of close contacts that regularly interacts with someone over the age of 70 or people who are immunocompromised, contact them right away. They should be the first people you call. If you have the COVID Alert app, the COVID-19 test results website will give you a unique one-time key that you can enter into this app to anonymously notify others with the app that they have been in contact with you. You can take these actions now to inform your close contacts of what they need to do. 
Any of your close contacts that may have developed symptoms since interacting with you should immediately go for testing as well as self-isolating. If you are a case currently tracing your contacts and you have any questions, please phone us at 1-800-361-5653. If you are what we call a high-risk case or a close contact in your ring is considered high-risk, you should also phone us immediately. A high-risk case or contact is someone that can spread COVID-19 to vulnerable communities. So these are people who are employed, volunteer, or attend any type of a healthcare setting. So even if they are not in a patient-facing rule, so including clinical offices, hospitals, dental offices, and pharmacies. First responders, such as paramedics, police, and fire, people that assist others with physical care needs, like a personal support worker, residents and staff in long-term care, retirement homes, and other group or congregate living facilities, members of remote, isolated, rural, or Indigenous communities, people who work in schools or other educational settings, such as a childcare or post-secondary school even, and people who live, work, volunteer, or attend shelters, group homes, prisons, dorms, or other settings with vulnerable people. So if this applies to you or your ring of close contacts, please do phone us immediately as we need to be in touch and support the management of these settings and contacts. For more information on COVID-19, please visit york.ca slash COVID-19. Together we can and will get through this.